Well, here you go, guys. Here's a reveal of what she finally looks like. Of course, we couldn't show you guys what she looked like when we were pulling her into the barn the other day because that would have just given it away before you even got to see the combine. But a lot of you guys guessed it in the comments because obviously I didn't do a very good job at editing um, all of the colors out. They're very, very bright colors. So you can see them in the background through all the equipment while we were servicing the sprayer. Um, so on and so forth. It's only a matter of time before you guys get to see it in action when wheat harvest comes along and that's actually coming up pretty soon, sooner than we think. I'm excited to show you guys everything in action and let's go over what she is. <laughs> Really glad he didn't make me do this part. <laughs> there she is. I mean, judging how much we did last year, I don't think we're gonna need all of this, but it's gonna be awesome to have it. And I don't know if you heard him earlier, but we are gonna use this, the rest of this, uh, before we do this. So I'll get to show you how it was before we got our fancy barrel here. There he is being a perfectionist again. Tomorrow, the plan is to change a sprinkler tire and I'll get to show you guys that. It'll be a lot more pleasant experience now that the corn isn't over our heads. But we'll show you how bad one of them is. I don't know how how far along that, that sprinkler moved with that tire that way, but it is it looks pretty nasty right now. I think we need this fire removed. It's been a long time since I've looked at it. I'm almost oh. positive it's a forward tire. Yeah. We're the same, we just mount the tires differently. Set this here. We can go grab that trailer. <laughs> now, here's the hard part. Here's when I'm thankful for how well you feed me. <laughs> Corn fed Kansas boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that a shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here, just me not working and filming him push the tire right there. <laughs> tire check. Jack check. Kitty check. <laughs> Overkill boards and railroad ties, check. That's because how much it rained, the ground's gonna be really soft. Yeah. <laughs> that is a very crucial part. Oh, shoot, that's the wrong tire. Part. There's no cat in the one on there. <laughs> okay, we changed our minds. We're doing it today. We just put the cats up first. Look at this bad boy. That's not good. <laughs> See, usually when a tire is causing you an issue, it's because it's flat on the bottom. But this one, this <laughs> one's flat all the way around. Oh, gosh, dang. Nasty. See how, look, look in from the back. Here's what I do. Look back here. Wow, yeah. See how the holes need to be go towards you? Mm -hmm. So we're both going to lift, but basically you're going to let me lift a little harder so to where we turn it. Slide it yep. in there? Okay. Lift down low. Like oh. Grab a lug down low. Okay, okay ready? Yeah. You did so good. What the fuck did you just do? That? <laughs> Wait, is that rare? Yeah, we got that bird of it. Okay, just come hold like this, and I'm going to jack it up one more notch. Let me just get two on there hand tight, where if it happens to ball, it'll hold it. Well, he got her done. Done. Look at that Not before I pulled my hamstring. <laughs> yeah, all torn up. And we're keeping this. Oh. <laughs> well, once again, you think she's just making a joke. She's not. She'll be I can, at home I can like, use this. She'll be at home with like rubber cement trying to patch that or something. <laughs> we're building a, an outfit with it. Cat house, cat toy. <laughs> yeah, that's a new cat bed idea. Yeah. <laughs> I grab all my stuff before I forget it. Yeah, looks nice. There she is. 
I'm excited to start getting outside and doing stuff outside. I'm sick of being stuck in the- It was so the... nice out this evening. Yeah. That was like fun. Yeah. You could say changing a flat tire is fun. Yeah. That... I never like wanted to say I have seasonal depression, but I'm feeling it. Yeah, there we go. We got that done. So we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, come on. Well, gotta keep the killer dogs from getting to the guy just trying to drop off. He's just trying to do his job. The dogs just went feral, absolutely feral. So I'm gonna give him some leftover chicken. Oh, that looks so gross. But yeah, today is the day that the sprayer is getting floater tires and I'm learning what those are. So when he gets done dropping those off and I get all the animals wrangled up, I will show those to you guys. Well, this is where they're gonna sit for now. But they're very fat. Man, these would be perfect raised bed gardens. Garden. <laughs> the most expensive raised beds there ever was. So yeah, you see those. And then I'll show you what it looks like now. So here's these. This is what they look like now. It's like a whole job in itself, I'm sure, to change those out. Okay, you ready to try this? That's a little bit of a difference. What'd you say? You've never, what'd you say? Something about a monster truck? Always wanted to have a monster truck. <laughs> Always wanted a monster truck. Pretty cool. one down don't know that our methods perfect but it works all righty then there's the backs done now we just got to do the fronts now we got our process down this goes pretty slick I gotta say we've never top dressed wheat before with our sprayer we've always done it through the sprinkler but this year it's working out where we want to do some top dressing we also want to minimize our compaction and our ruts we leave during pre-emerge so really we could run we kind of we're talking about it and we figured out we could run floaters like the majority of the year so we're going to give them a try we're pretty much basically the end of may to june we'll need to run row crop tires but the rest of the time we can stay on floaters so i think this is going to be pretty nice they sure look cool You guys see our professional hub saver we stole that idea though Well, there we go. Project completed. What do you think? What are you doing? Always ball time. Anyway, got them all changed out. I gotta say, that wasn't that bad. I heard these mounts were kind of a pain to use. 
But in all honesty, that went really smooth. I don't. We'll see if it goes that smooth when we put the row crop tires back on. But putting floaters on, that worked pretty slick. Just had this, stole this idea from another farmer around here. He said cut the bottom out of a five gallon bucket. This one's got a weird shape cut in it because I was using it for something else. But we cut, cut the bottom out of it, cut slits on the side, taped it together, and it fits perfectly around this hub. Well, you get the idea. That way when you take the tire on and off, you don't scrape up your hub. You can leave it nice and shiny. I got lots of stuff to clean up. I gotta get chemical ready. We aren't sure if we wanna try and spray this weekend or not. Tuesday, the wind is supposed to blow like 70 or something crazy is what they're calling for. Anyways, thank you guys, appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you later. Well, there you have it, y'all. In the next couple of vlogs, you're gonna see a lot of spraying and a lot of sporadic activity according to the weather, just like every other farmer in America, I'm sure. Who else in the comments is like me who works on a farm or with farmers and around farmers, but also does their own mini farming, AKA gardening in their backyard? Because not only in the next few vlogs, you're gonna see me learn how to do a little bit of tillage and help Zach, you know, split his time so that he can go off and do other things, which is all willingly, by the way, I want to do this, but I'm also gonna be planting a bunch of seedlings and transferring a bunch of them and getting my garden ready it's going to be a whole entire mess messing with those raised beds because guess what i'm doing raised beds now i actually can't wait to show you guys what i ended up deciding on when it comes to raised beds i'm not doing like a hand built raised bed i don't have time obviously so this is going to be really exciting to show you guys what i'm going to do but i might need your help on how to fill them because i just can't decide as usual but also i still am in disbelief that i release merch you guys have been showing so much support i appreciate that so much it's all because of you guys zach brought up the fact today that youtube sent a notification that said in two days i'm gonna be celebrating my one year on youtube anniversary now i haven't been doing social media for only a year i started out sharing my journey on tiktok but it still absolutely blows my mind that i've only been vlogging per se for one year and i'm already at 555,000 subscribers subscribers. Anyways, y'all, I appreciate you so much. Go get you some merch. It's all linked down below as usual. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, requests in the comments, leave them down below. I always enjoy reading, catching up, and replying to all the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, love you. Bye!